Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Stampin' Up! with Jamie, my Wednesday night Facebook Live tutorial. If you're catching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, below, you'll find a link to my store as well as my blog if you'd like to look at some other things that I make. Um, this is a live video, so I will be interacting um, with uh, people. So let's see if um, I can just make sure I'm up here and running on Facebook. Oh, it looks like a couple of people are out. Okay, good. Whew. I'm just going to bring this up, folks, on my computer so I can watch comments as I go along here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, how's everyone doing tonight? I just served myself a cup of coffee because I'm freezing. And I'm so excited to be here with you. I missed you all last week as I was at a concert with my family. And I'm just so happy to be here with you. Um, hi, Karen. Good evening. I got my cup of coffee ready to go. It's warming up my hands. It's a little chilly out there. Okay, let me take a slurp and then um, we're just going to dive right in. I made um, today's card a uh, Father's Day card. Um, however, tonight I'm going to be making it a birthday card. Uh, I don't need two Father's Day cards. One does the job. So um, I'm going to make it, well, actually... I should put it out there to you guys because the one I make tonight is the one that someone's going to earn. Hi, Michelle. Good evening. One of you guys are going to win. Hi, Amy. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, maybe you do want a Father's Day card. I feel like masculine birthday cards are just a little bit more versatile. Um, unfortunately, not all of us have our dads anymore. So um, that was kind of my, my thinking. Um, the card features lots of different product um, from the 2019 occasions catalog it's all most of it is well well except for the sentiments everything is part of the classic garage um suite from the stampin ups occasions catalog hi barbara from tucson thanks so much for sharing it i appreciate it um i actually didn't here i'm going to show you the suite i actually didn't purchase um, the stamp set or bundle. That's why I'm using a different stamp set. Um, but the nice thing about these suites that Stampin' Up! creates is that all of the product coordinates with each other. Hi, Lisa. Good evening. And so if you're just starting out, catalogs can be very, very overwhelming. Uh, at least that's how I felt early on um, when I was um, just kind of starting to buy a few things here or there. More birthday cards? Okay, we'll go birthday then. Um, and so if you're kind of like unsure where to start off with, maybe you're feeling a little overwhelmed by the catalog, I would definitely look for a suite. Um, they're all marked. It kind of has like this big graphic page, and it does say the name of the suite at the top. And it usually comes with a stamp set, some kind of bundle, so a frame lid or it could be a punch, um, designer series paper, some coordinating cardstock, and then usually... Um, something else. So it usually could be like ribbon or embellishments in this case, or sometimes it's an embossing folder or some sort of something else to add to the suite. Hi, Linda. Good evening. Hi, Suni. Good evening. And so these suites are great because the product is all meant to go with each other. The designer series paper is supposed to match, per like coordinate perfectly with the stamp set, with the embellishments and ribbon. It kind of takes, like, the thought out of it all. You just know, like, if I need some masculine cards, um, this is something I should be looking at because it kind of was all meant to go for guys and it um, all works together. So something to consider, this, again, is from the Occasions Catalog. Um, in a few, no, like a week and a half, I get to see the new annual catalog. So excited about that. Um, so just kind of like as these catalogs come out and, um, you know, it can be very overwhelming. Just look for a suite that you kind of like and, and kind of stay within that. If you, I mean, you can go outside of it, but um, if you find it, it's overwhelming, definitely try and, you know, stick with the suite. Hi, Terry. Good evening. So tonight's card, um, well, I'm just going to start. <laughs> it's just easier if I just dive in. Hold on. What did I do? Hold on, what did I do with my adhesive? I don't, oh, there it is. Whew, that was scary for a second. <laughs> I thought I lost it. <laughs> okay, we're starting off with crushed curry. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say, the designer series paper that I'm working with is this classic garage, it's called. And if you're kind of curious as to what colors go together or, or like how, 
how do you pick colors? People say to me all the time, oh, I could never just randomly do a card like you do. I always have to kind of copy someone. Um, and there's nothing super special about what I do. If I'm kind of looking for what colors to use, I'll go to a designer series paper such as this one. And on the back here in very small letters, it tells you all the coordinating colors in this pack. So, you know, Stampin' Up! are the super professional artistic people. They know what they're doing. So they say like blast, basic black, basic gray, crushed curry, pumpkin pie, real red, tranquil tide, very vanilla and whisper white. They kind of all go together. They're all used in this paper pack. So that's how I kind of come about usually nine times out of 10, how I pick color schemes is based on designer series paper that Stampin' Up! has already put together. So I'm starting off with crushed curry and I already went ahead. Oh, hold on. I put it away <laughs> and I already embossed it with the subtle dynamic textured impressions embossing folder. We can just say the subtle embossing folder. That's what I say. Um, and it's, it, it, I've used it in the past. You're definitely going to want to spritz it when you use it. And it gives, um, trying to catch the light. I don't know if you can see that, but, um, a very soft, subtle hint, hint, wink, wink. Um, impression on your paper and it's not like in your face it's not like super like you kind of have to hold it and feel it to to really see it and to feel it um, but it just I mean it's one of those I could probably use in every single card I make because I absolutely love the embossing folder yes me too Linda it's it's by far a favorite of mine I desperately hope it carries over into the new annual catalog because I use it all the time <laughs> Okay, and then I'm taking on uh, my first pattern, which is kind of like these wheels um, from that, what did I call it? Classic Garage Designer Series paper. Um, this one here is four and one eighth by two and seven eighths. And the Whisper White is just one eighth bigger. So it is four and a quarter by three, three by four and a quarter. That's the other side of it. It's got like tread marks on it, but we're not gonna use that. You could, it's just not what I'm using tonight. Oh, I feel like nothing came out. <laughs> I feel like nothing came There we go. Wow, why didn't that work the first time? I'm not quite sure. I'm uh, just going to mat that because I just can't not mat. I mean, I really try. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll just go outside my box, my comfort zone, and I'm just not going to... Um, mat and I just can't help it. I always have to like rip it off and like no I just have to mat <laughs> I just can't not okay so we're gonna start off there um let's see here next okay so I have to walk you through my thought process um when I made this I did the banners first and then this kind of wound baker's twine was kind of an afterthought and honestly I probably would have put it like closer into the card so I'm gonna do that first Hopefully it works out doing it backwards than the way I did it for this one. All I did, I don't know, I guess I could measure this for you, but this is, don't do it, keep the layers. <laughs> You're enabling the addiction, Amy. <laughs> so bad. I'm like, I can do this. I'm not going to mat. I'm not going to mat. And I'm like, it looks horrible. I have to mat. <laughs> um, this is 12 inches, although I have a feeling I'm going to end up trimming it down a little bit. I just kind of did like one loop and then another loop. Oh, well, maybe I'm not going to trim it that that much. And literally all I did was just put some adhesive down and kind of tack it in its place. It's, I don't know. It definitely was an afterthought and it definitely, you know, it's not something that's absolutely needed with the card, but I thought it was kind of fun and I don't use the black baker's twine that that often. I must not use black a lot. So I was like, yep, this is a good opportunity to use it. <laughs> Um, right, I kind of wove into it a key, which is kind of fun. Again, it's in that suite. It comes from the classic garage metal elements, and there's a whole bunch of them. You get, um, oh gosh, these things are called wrenches, right? I don't even know. <laughs> so bad. You're always matting too, Karen. I know. It's so addicting. Once you start, you just can't stop. Um, I think that's a wrench. Actually, I'm not sure. Is that, I don't know what the name of that is. <laughs> that tool is oh gosh it's so bad and then there's a key because I'm um doing more the cars I stuck with the key because and I also it is a wrench okay <laughs> just keeping it real here folks I don't know the names of my tools <laughs> um I just tuck that into the end 
like so. And I'm not gonna adhere it down yet because I'm not exactly sure of the placement of it yet. And then all I did was um, kind of opened up the ends of the twine, kind of like frayed them a little bit. Cause it's a guy card, you know, they don't have to be all like perfect, perfect. They all have to be a little rough. You're right. Yeah, exactly. You would know, right, Karen, from working in a hardware store. I'm like, I think that's a wrench. <laughs> so bad. So bad. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not the handiest ever. I was pretty sure it was called a wrench, though. <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave it like that for now. I will um, adhere that key down, but I want to... Oh, that's the side I wanted out. Hmm, hold on, got, I gotta fix that. One side's a little bit more detailed than the other. So I wanted the more detailed one out. There we go, okay. I'm gonna leave that be because I'm gonna see the placement of my um, banners first and then I'll put a glue dot underneath that. I'm such a girly girl. <laughs> I don't know about, well, I guess I am, but I just don't, I don't know, I don't know tools. They're not my thing. Give me some ink and some cardstock and a pair of snips any day. <laughs> I can go to town. Okay, so um, these are just three patterns. Um, let me see if I can pull them out on a bigger scale for you to see. Uh, maybe I can't. Oops, my computer just shut off. Um, hold on, hold on. That way, you can, there we go. So you can see it a little better. Um, we have sort of a basic black, a crushed curry and then a basic gray one. And it's very, very subtle, the detail on them. I don't even know if you can see them on screen. It almost um, has like a like a distressed painted look on them. Hi, Christy. Oh, well, here you go. <laughs> I figured since I did a masculine card on my blog today, I was kind of like, you know, in the zone <laughs> for masculine cards. <laughs> um, to do the banners, I wanted a pretty shallow banner. Normally I would use a triple banner punch, but I wanted a pretty shallow banner. So, and I want them to kind of be the same, which is tricky. So I have them stacked and I'm gonna cut the banner, hopefully it works, on all three of them at the same time. It's a little tricky, because it's so thick. And then the other side. Oh, I should show you the other sides of the paper. It's kind of fun. Did that work? Um, the other side to them are like gears. Gears, uh, we're just gonna say all sorts of tools because I don't know the names of them all. <laughs> and uh, steering wheels, so that's fun. But I'm keeping sort of like a neutral, um, usually with my cards I don't use more than about three colors uh, together. Three is kind of my max. If I use more than three colors on a card, it's kind of unusual for me. I just want to arrange them first before I start adhering them down. Kind of get them where I want them to be. This card, I do use um, a ton of um, dimensionals because they're fun and well, you got to use them. We don't hoard dimensionals around here. We use them. So um, each one gets two. And I just kind of eyeball, again, I've told you this trick before, but to get things straight, make sure your card is straight on your grid paper. Your eye will naturally see things um, straight if you do it that way. Like this. Whoops. No, there we go. This one's more the black one. Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to get them perfectly spaced. But do your best. Again, it's a guy who's going to be getting this and you know I don't think they're going to notice if it's not perfectly spaced out so don't stress in other words oh hold on I should have put that one a little lower because I have the there we go um how about there okay good oh I think I'm going to cut that that's really a lot longer than I like okay so to glue this guy down I'm just using, um, what are these things called? A glue dot. I'm using a glue dot, and I'm just going to tuck it underneath to kind of hold it down. Oops, come here. Don't go flying off now. Come here, come here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to pick up. There we go. And 
There we go. Actually, I probably should have waited till I did the car. Oh, well, I'm committed. It's good. Okay, so here's the one I'm working off of. This is the car I used. All I did is I took this fun, um, again, part of the DSP, part of the designer series paper. It's one of the patterns. And I just picked this card, uh, this uh, car, I should say, and I just fussy cut them out. Um, there's a couple different cars here. Some of them are just like straight across. Some of them are kind of looking at you. Um, if the guy in your life isn't so much into cars and he's more a um, motorcycle guy, there's uh, another sheet that has a whole bunch of uh, motorcycles on it. So you could definitely uh, fussy cut this out. This one, actually, it's not that hard. These are really easy fussy cutting. Um, it's kind of funny because all around them... Um, it's like solid black. They don't have the grid. So it's really easy. These are just mostly straight, except for like the wheels. <clears throat> it's really easy fussy cutting. So I'm going to do a little card magic. Let me get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. And I already cut them out. <laughs> I'm using a different card, um, a car, excuse me. I need tweezers. <laughs> I know every week everyone says I need tweezers. <laughs> One of these weeks I'm going to surprise you in, uh, and have a pair of tweezers. <laughs> I'm just so used to using my snips. I just use it. It's almost like I use them as a spatula. as kind of like a, I don't know, a whole bunch of things. Easy and fussy cutting do not belong in the same sentence. Come on, Amy. This is easy. That's easy. You have to make, uh, out of some of the things, I have really taken on some challenging um, fussy cutting, but this was pretty on the easy side. Anyone can do this. You're going to buy me a pair. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put the, oh gosh, I forgot to put the ribbon on underneath. That's okay. So we'll just walk you through. Because when I did this card, I didn't, I had everything glued down and I didn't do the ribbon either. It was a last minute thought. So this ribbon is also from that same suite. It's um, black, which is a silver um, kind of line going through it. <laughs> yeah, you totally could do it. Okay, so my challenge is going to be to get it past that gray one because I put a dimensional right in the middle. Don't worry. I can do it. You know what I'm going to do? Hold on. Where's my mini dimensionals? I think I'm going to put use mini dimensionals on this guy because I have that ribbon there. Okay, so... Let's see if I can do this just freehanded. Oh yeah, totally can do this. I forgot to add my ribbon. Always, there's always something that I don't do right, always. <laughs> uh, come on. What did Amy say? I don't know, I'm pretty bad at it. Ah, uh, you can do it just fine. I kind of have it going down the center of my card. And um, I just used some liquid glue which I didn't test ahead of time, so I'm not exactly sure which one. Okay, this one's working. Just put a couple dabs of glue and it'll hold it down. <clears throat> okay, so I said tonight that I'd be doing a giveaway while I'm totally fixing my oops here. Um, I have tonight to give away, I have some, <clears throat> what is this? Blackberry Bliss Ribbon. Um, I don't know the name of that ribbon, but it's beautiful. And Blackberry Bliss Ink Pad, the new one. So, if you would like a chance to win it, I'm fixing my ribbon. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's see here. I'm going to take a post-it note somewhere. How about this one? And I think I'll do the ribbon first. So, we're just going to, like, pause for a second. <laughs> this is the Blackberry Bliss ribbon. It's, I don't know the name of it. It's a beautiful ribbon. It's one of my favorite ribbons to work with. It makes beautiful bows. So let me get, oh, you know what? There we go. I'm like, I'm not sure if I have a pen. So I'm going to do, um, let me write down a number. Between one and 10, whoever guesses the number first wins. So I'm going to glue this down. You guys just start naming off numbers. And first one to guess is it. We'll win it. I'm going to add another dimensional while we're waiting. Oh, Linda. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Can you see it? Can you see it? It was an eight. How did you get it that fast? Oh, my gosh. Okay, Linda. 
sold. That one goes to you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot. Maybe I should have done one to fifteen. Was one to ten too uh, <laughs> too uh, short a, a number? I'm just gonna add another one over here. I feel like I'm doing card surgery. There we go. Okay, we're good. You're welcome. Listen, I know I've, you've given it to me before. Will you just send me your email, uh, your mailing address? If not, I'll put a little note underneath um, with my email address if you don't have it still. So let me just write your name. Linda. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, well... Okay, here, let's do my my car. My car is going to go right down the middle there. Oops. So I'm actually going to put the dimensionals here because I want to make sure they hit the dimensionals, you know, the card. Okay, so for my ink pad, it's a Blackberry Bliss ink pad. One of the new ones that came out, the new uh, and revised version. So maybe I'll do... Should I do 1 through 10 again or maybe 1 through 15? How about 1 through 15? Okay, go ahead. I just wrote down my number for the ink pad. Just start popping numbers up if you want it. Maybe you already have it. I also, well, no, let's not be confusing. If everybody has this ink pad, I have something else I can give away. Oh, Alice doesn't. Oh, thanks, Linda. <laughs> That's very sweet of you. But yeah. Although knowing you, I think you won my ink pad last time too. You have a, you're super good at guessing. Keep going. No one's guessed it. Keep going. I'm going to get my, my uh, sentiment ready here. Nope. No one's guessed it. Keep going. Nope. Keep going. Who's got fast fingers to type quickly? What did I do with my ink pad? Nope. There it is. Nope. Keep going. One through 15. Here, I'll give... <laughs> one through 15, Michelle. <laughs> 16 doesn't count. Oh, you guys are close. Super close. Super close. No one's guessed it. Come on. Time is a ticking. Oh, there you go. Barbara got it. Two. Yay, Barbara. Woohoo. I hope you don't already have it. Let me know. Um, shoot me an email, will you, Barbara, just to make sure you don't already have it. Because if you do, I have something else I can give you. Yay, Barbara. Woohoo. Yay. I love giveaways. They make me so happy. <laughs> okay, let's continue with our card. Um, the sentiment. I'm using the well said sentiment. Yay, woohoo, you're very welcome. Um, so versatile, my goodness, I absolutely love this. Um, it's a two set, although I don't have the second one out here. Um, and I'm using, where is it? Birthday, well I'm going to, and happy. In my first one I made here, I did the happy Father's Day, which is kind of fun because um, it also has a Father's Day. Where is it? Has Mother's Day, there it is, Father's Day. Yep, I do too, Linda. It's so versatile. It pretty much covers just about um, every sort of sentiment you could need. I like that it has a graduation one. Graduation ones are kind of hard to find. Um, so that alone is almost like worth getting this one. You know what I mean? So I need a piece of Whisper White. And I'm going to stamp my sentiments right along the edge. Yeah, the dies too. Oh, absolutely. Uh, right along the edge. Wow, I guess I didn't need this big of a, hold on. No, I'm going to need it for my birthday. Okay. I was thinking I didn't need that big of a whisper white, which I really don't, but my birthday is kind of big. So we're going to do one that way and we'll do one this way. Wow. Ooh, that seems crooked. Hold on. I got to do that one again. Sorry, guys. Hold on. This is what happens when you... <laughs> <laughs> Don't stamp ahead of time. You risk. I thought it was pretty straight. That one's better. Okay. So I'm just going to grab, I'm just going to trim them down. I have my um, 
my paper cutter right here. So I'm just gonna do that off screen. Trim them down and then with my snips, trim them down again. Give them a little bit of a haircut here. That's one. Ooh. Two. And then my happy. Normally I don't freehand this because even if it's small paper, I tend not to cut straight. I can fussy cut anything, but I cannot cut a straight line for the life of me. <laughs> so bad. Um, let's see here. What did I do? I guess I just, I almost want to use dimensionals again. I, I didn't in my original card, but I think they would look pretty. <laughs> pretty on a masculine card. But I think I'm going to use my, my mini ones. Okay, so. Oops. Let's see. Ah! Come back. One. And then two. I hope this one carries over. My goodness. I use these things all the time. And I got to be careful because I put the key. So maybe I'll do it more that way. I put the key like right there. Yeah, that works. And the birthday. Listen, guys. Also, right now, I am offering. I have it right here. The organdy ribbon. The beautiful ribbon from Celebration. Um, if you missed out on getting it, I am offering it, um, I'm throwing in one yard of it with any order, uh, $50 or more right now. So if you missed out on getting that gorgeous ribbon, be sure you put in an order um, and let me know what you want so I can get it to you. I don't have, a, you know, I have limited of everything. So, you know, if you're really, really, really want a color, you have to let me know ASAP. I'm gonna double up my dimensional on this side, this one here, because of the math, because it is like doubled up, because there's a dimension on this uh, banner. I hope that makes sense. Like so. Oh, so fun. Okay, so that's our masculine birthday card. I hope you guys like it. Again, you could have made it a, a Father's Day card or a birthday card, either way works. Um, when it comes to masculine cards, I try and keep them on the simpler side and kind of keep to a sweet like I was talking about at the beginning here. Um, if you have any questions about any of the product I use, uh, certainly let me know. If you've been watching and haven't left some sort of a comment of some sort, um, even if it's an emoji, just make some sort of um, comment below because as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to draw a name for someone to receive uh, this the birthday card tonight. Um, thank you everyone so much for watching. I will be back next week, so I hope uh, you can join me then too. Have a great night, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.